Fish on, brother. Fish on. Ah, come on, come on, big fish. Come on. Fish on, man. Fish on. Come here, come here. What kind of fish is this? Huh? Yeah. Jack. Jack of all, man. <gasps> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. But it's something there, yeah. Put it up. Put it in the soft water, sir. All right, sir. Just stick it up. <laughs> what do you think? Good morning. Yes, <laughs> a good morning. Yeah, brother. So. Come on, be yourself. Be yourself and circle look in your mouth already, I can't get you. Alright, so. How are my peeps? It's a beautiful jack, alright? Sit here. Not a bad looking jack. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Fish on, brother. Like about 8 pounds, you know? Nice jack. Jack magnet again strike. Alright. So we're gonna put him down right here, so. I'm ready for him. See him there? Fish on. Yeah. I didn't even get time to turn on the camera to, to do a formal introduction, but this morning I'm out by the airport road. You know? I just set out a line a while ago and caught a jack. He even break off the surf looks so after change out and re retire a while ago. See there? Tie on back my 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 I'm not hook on the on the on the on the line here, on the leader. Put on another live gate right here. Right? Alright, so see I just put out the live bait a while ago now, another live bait. Alright. So hopefully I can hook up another jack snook or something else, you know. That's what they say now, the jack magnet is here. <laughs> Alright, so. The jack was trying to go to the structure right over this to get to cut off, but I'll brace him back before him reach out here, you know. Nice size jack. Now the setup I'm using right now is the, the 50 pound braid that my friend Richard Hart or Jerome from the UK sent me, you know, sent me some stuff from um, from the UK, a subscriber, a long time supporter of the channel, Mr. Richard Hart, that is a YouTube name, big up yourself brother, thanks for the stuff alright, the braided line, the, the lures, the hooks and all the stuff that you sent to me, thanks much for them guys, uh, uh, Mr. Richard Hart. So that is what I'm using now to test out. I'm testing it out on my powerful rod here, my Akuma Azores. 
which is this rod, which is my trolling rod and my 8 feet powerhouse rod. Because so I know that you have some big fish around this side that you hold them, try to cut out your line, you know. So I have to brace, I have to bring something strong to brace them back from the, from the structure, you know. Right, see there? Seems to be holding up all right. Just want to test it out some more now with some bigger fish. All right, so let's go again. Let's just see if we can hook up something like something like a bigger one or a snook or something. All right, so let's just see it goes. As soon as I hook up again, I come back to you. All right, guys, fish on. Still waiting again on the other run, right? So the rod them there, right? This is stick up. I just put the casting rod behind, behind that one because I can't take the sand in the reels, you know. I have one reel on the ground there. I shouldn't put it on the ground. I should just bring one rod. But it's alright, still, you know. So I'm still waiting on another run. Hopefully, I get another run before I leave here. Alright, so let's just see how it goes, now. Still in the waiting process again. If I can catch something else, you know? Huh? Yeah. You're too far, you know? Where I go down, sir? Alright. Alright, so as soon as I hook up again, now, guys, if I get a hook up again, I get back to you guys, alright? Fish on. Pulling the line way down to the left, right? So I'm going to take up the line. Take up this line and put it out again. Um, I'm going to pack up and leave this place out the door, you know? Because I don't see anything up going on for the rest of the day, for the rest of the morning. I caught this jackpot early this morning and after that, nothing else. You know? And the current getting strong around this side, so now I'll let the current get too strong. Jack the water, the snook or whatever. Done. I'll throw it out one more time. One more time, I'll throw it out there and see. So I can't pick up anything. Before I pack up and leave here. This is not the this is not the way that I want to see you now. You see it stay? <laughs> this is not the way that I want to see you now. Look at this now. Look at the look at the waves and the breeze. This is not what I want to see. This is hopeless now. At this time, you know? So you know that definitely. We have to leave here. Definitely, definitely. We have to go home now still. Come yeah, on, this don't make no sense at all, it's home time.
Onde é o cotaço? Onde é o cotaço? Eu sei que é um fisherman, people. The man catch a fish with him hand, you know. But guess what? No. It look like something. It's a barracuda, you know. Barracuda cut off him tail. See that? This fish just washed up on shore and the fish is still alive. Barracuda cut off him tail. See there? He's not going to make it, you know. So you know, so, you, you, you have to keep. <laughs> the man just grab him out of the water. Just see him float up on the shore and just grab him out of the water. <laughs> Look for the tail. Look if you see the tail. Aye. Aye, sir. The man has to be dangerous. Okay. Just see him swimming up on the shore. I will take him out of the water because I you know he's not going to survive. But the fish is very much alive. Just, 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 just. Bark would have just cut off the tail. See there? The fish is very much alive up there. Eh? Can you imagine that? So you know I'm not gonna make it so we're gonna take him and cook him right now so you know we didn't catch him with a line, we didn't catch him with a hand. <laughs> Alright guys, take care and water here. Fish out.